from Tokyo as well as Dallas, Texas, the Oriental Dragon Master. With his manager, Ali Farouk. His opponent tonight needs no introduction, but from Bad Street, USA, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. This will be a one fall 30 minute match. Your referee is John Renesto. The Dragon Master ready, Terry Bam Bam Gordy ready, and we're ready to go. And when we talk about main events, got to talk about Tony, Terry Gordy next week. Going well, against Abdullah the Butcher. Oh, he's got his work cut out two weeks in a row right now with the Dragon Master locked. That's in a body hole. Nice good takedown. Very good move by the Dragon Master. <laughs> it looks like Gordy's a little surprised at that right there. Inside step over toe hole. Terry Gordy. Over the inside. Now rolls it and scissors it. And is getting things pretty well in tow right now. Dragon Master wrapped up by Terry Gordy. Not much emotion coming from the Dragon Master's face. And I think you're going to see maybe tears come from his eyes once he feels the wrath of the fine athlete, the fine wrestler, a United States boy, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. That is Gordy right there. He has the leg scissor. Paying attention to Terry Gordy. Comes back just for the leg. And takes Gordy on his back, and Gordy's got to watch those shoulders now. And John Vanessa, the official, takes a look at the left shoulder. It's not down yet. There's the arm, there's Dragon Master. And Gordy is going to scissor up. Lost his hold for a moment. Yeah, I don't think you're, I think when you say just for a moment, you hit it on the nose, though, because he's going to kick out of it, as you see right here. And he's going to slowly peel away. Farouk is out here, administrating to the heavens. And Garner underneath the bottom rope, so that's a break. And he takes a few shots just as he leaves. Red Esther complains today. You get under the bottom rope. That's a break. Put the body under there. Now, that's a 30-minute time limit. Big event. A big event for two big men in wrestling. Dragon Master from Tokyo. And Terry Bam Bam Gordy from the Bad Street, USA, wherever that might be. Ah, nice side mare move by Gordy with a headlock. I imagine whatever street Gordy lives on could be called Bad Street, because he's one bad dude. Dragon Master trying to unload inside, doing a pretty good job on the body. And so is Gordy now, hammering away on the top side. Comes back with a headlock. Dragon Master control here. Gordy doesn't have that luxury. There is no hair to pull. Well, Gordy maintains the headlock. Dragon Master trying to maintain just his balance right now to find a way to work out of this one. You know, the balance is also, if you notice the shoes, you can't see them now, but the shoes on the Dragon Master have the web right up between the first two toes, and those shoes are made especially for balance. There goes Dragon Master now. Here comes Gordy. Nice kick. Meeting Dragon Master off the rim. Right no, he kicks him right out. The Dragon Master flail right out, steps inside, step over, spinning toe hold, and as Gordy slowed down for a moment. Yeah, Renesso's doing a fine job of being right where the action is, and in a final, you know, a main event bout like this, you need a ref that can be right on top of it, because everything counts here. And the Dragon Master now has this inside toe hold barred with Gordy's other leg, and that's putting a lot of pressure on Gordy. Look at this. Look at this, like a pretzel. You're going to have to separate and take a day or two. Look at the size of Gordy's shoes. You know, after only 25 minutes left in this bout, five minutes gone, I hope that the Dragon Master can think of something else. Well, the Dragon Master has used every conceivable appendage right now to work on Terry Gordy. He's got it. There's that big shoe. Much larger shoe than the Dragon Master. coming up, waiting for the circulation to return to that leg, and he is. 
That looks like he's favored a little bit, Bill. Well, the circulation was cut off pretty well there, wasn't it? All those uh, toe holes and scissors and the Dragon Master. And so the Dragon Master goes right back for that left leg. A struggle for legs here. And each has a leg, but neither one is in a position to do much about it right now. However, Dragon Master has a count of two on that shoulder on Dragon Master almost pulled it off, and now... Right, there you freak. go, Bill. You don't see that too much of Dragon Master jumping out of the ring to escape somebody. Maybe Farouk wanted to tell him something. Take down by Dragon Master, count of two on Gordy. Boy, that was fast. The Dragon Master dropping on that left leg. And notice now, Adam, that the Dragon Master is working on that, continually working on the left leg. He is. He keeps pulling on his toes on that shoe there. And I saw Terry Fabian now leg the fall. I hope it's not going to affect this match. Gordy, limping away a bit. Dragon Master staying after the left leg. Gordy just fighting it out. Oh, and only, only Gordy's sheer strength and size is going to be able to save him here. But the Dragon Master goes for key points on the leg of Gordy. Back to that toe, uh, step over toe hole. Dragon Master back to the inside, step over toe hole. He's been working on the left leg of Terry Gordy. We've seen Gordy limping on it, circulation cut off, that bending, switching, and continually working at it. There he goes into his scissors on it. And Gordy is at the top rope. Has his hand on the rope. And there's the count and the break. Once again, and still kicking on that left leg is Gordy. Holy mackerel. To the floor. I don't believe it. And Gordy is hurt. You don't see a man that size limp like that unless he's really hurt. And you know what? That's like hurting a bear. You need to kill a bear. As you're going to see here. Here comes the Dragon Master back. Dragon Master working on that left leg, continually working on that left leg. And Gordy in trouble, still in trouble. Now trying a shoulder stand. He's had his left shoulder off of it. So that's not working right now for the Dragon Master, but Gordy has not been able to overcome. Terry Gordy taking a shot, another shot. The Dragon Master staying on top of him, Gordy. You can tell he's a little disgusted with this. He can't reverse the trend here. He can't turn the tide. And the Dragon Master continues to work on the left leg. Now we're turning around. Gordy trying to come up with something as once again his left leg is in a leg scissors. And Gordy is in a position now to do some hurt on the Dragon Master at least. At least he's in a position to uh, bang away on him if he wants to figure out some way to take the pressure off that left leg. Gordy needs to get that leg free, and the Dragon Master just doesn't look like he's going to let it go. And now they got to break. Well, Dragon says, I'll take off that work on here. <laughs> and maybe he's going to bang in on that left knee. There he goes into the hamstring muscle. And pull it into the corner buckle. And oh, no. Slam around the pole. But more hurt on the left leg of Terry Gordy. There it goes. Oh. And Gordy in more and more pain. He lost kind of the feeling in it. Chop missed and right back down the Dragon Master. And the Dragon Master wants to decide, what am I going to do to you next? Well, I'll tell you what. It looks like more pain for that leg. Standing spinning toe hole. So in any position, Terry Gordy's got trouble because it's always on the left leg. So Terry Gordy, still in trouble, but he's bam, bam, and away, and that breaks away. Maybe he's got a chance here to run off and get a little more feeling right in there. That kick to the right foot. That kick again. And that's why they call him Bam Bam. He bangs away, bangs away. Oh, the crowd picking up the enthusiasm. Here comes the Dragon Master. Drop kick. A foot over the top rope. Foot over the top rope. So that was an automatic break. You gotta try a backbreaker and Gordy landing on his head. Here comes one, two, no, not three. Gordy flails out. 
Time running down. Battle running down. And Gordy trying to turn this thing around. Gordy comes off the rope. Up on top. Pile driver. Bill, here it is. Oh! He may have it. Pile driver on the Ragged Master with the leg over the top rope again. Oh. Can you believe that? What a move by Bab Bab Gordy. Shot across the head. Another shot. Gordy going back. There's a count of one, two, three. The leg under the bottom him. rope. You got him, Bill. The referee did not Woo! count it. Bam Bam is listed as the winner. What they're complaining about, Farouk complaining about, is that the Dragon Master's leg was under the bottom rope. And they're complaining, hey, you call Bam Bam and a break. You call it a break. And here comes the referee. Bam Bam's right here. John. Well, we wait to see what's going to occur here. John, now, you called a break when Gordy was under the rope. What about this? Mr. Mercer, according to the rules of the Texas Wrestling, Texas Championship Wrestling rules say that if a foot is over the rope, the count is broken. It doesn't say anything about him being under the rope. Okay, good. Thank you, John. Well, Gordy picks up the win. You know, Ice, I can't explain to the people, I wish I could, what it's like to be in a packed house with all the people on your side. Man, what a feeling. We have this tag team match coming up Friday where if your partner's eliminated, you're eliminated too. Man, what a concept. I can't wait. <laughs> Look here, people. Now, we know we had our difference, but everybody makes a change. Friday night, people, a tag team battle raw. Von Eric and Ice makes everything real nice. Like Mama says, it be that way sometime. Leave it to Texas Championship Wrestling to find a totally unique concept. A tag team battle royal. This Friday night, there'll be many tag teams in the ring. If your partner gets beat, you get beat. So you gotta watch your back, you gotta watch your partner's back. And the best thing to do is to stand back to back and take on all comers. It's a controversial decision on Texas Championship Wrestling. And with me, a person who's never been controversial, mm -hmm. uh, matchmaker Gary Hart. Well, I try not to be. I've Good been to terrific. You. Yeah. I think you're doing a great job, and the wrestling fans really like and it. You're doing a great job bringing in these wrestlers. This is a, an exciting time to uh, yes, it put is. back into this, this class we've been talking about. Yeah. It's coming along. And make it uh, something that the whole family can set out on Saturday night in front of the... TV set and enjoy it. You know, I've had that already had that response from some good. folks, and that's good. But there was a little controversy in this about this foot under the rope. And we talked to the referee, and he said, mm -hmm. if that foot is under the rope, you're going to be counted anyway. It's over the, uh, the rope on the bottom rope. Yeah. It gets, uh, hey, you got to pull it out and start over. Well, you have, see, a lot of times, Bill, in wrestling, people try to abuse the rules in many different ways. So the best way to I do it is... I recall that, that yes. Well, yes. I, <laughs> look, I was looking after my business then, and now I'm looking after my business now. Are. And we're not going to have any cheap outs. If you're going to win, you're going to win legitimately. And legitimately, if the foot is over the top rope, the man has made an effort to save himself. Sure. If it's laying under the bottom rope, there's no effort. And I think the referee was right in counting him down, and I agree with it. What about, now they were telling me you're going to do a little differently, too. We've seen this happen in championship matches. Over the top rope and out. What's, what's yeah. this now you're going to do? Many times I feel that a lot of champions yeah. took advantage of over the top rope disqualification rule to save a title. Sure, they didn't lose the title. Of That's it. right. But in Texas Championship Wrestling, even though it's dangerous, and it's someone could be hurt, I think it's important not to let anybody save a belt by doing that. And you want to talk a little bit about Thunderdome on March 22nd, or shall we wait a little later? Let's wait a little later, but you're going to love Thunderdome. All right. That's a part of Texas Championship Wrestling. What a way to start out the night, ladies and gentlemen. We have a tag team bout for our first match this evening. It's going to be from Tampa, Florida, Steve Austin, and his partner this evening from San Francisco, California, the California Stud. Their opponents tonight from Portland, Oregon, Matt Barnes. His, his partner this evening from St. Louis, Iceman King Parson. It will be a one fall, 10 minute bout. The referee's name is Bobby Turner. 
Okay, we're ready to go with this first bout on this edition of Texas Championship Wrestling from the lovely Metroplex Arena right here at Markville and Greenville, just south of 635 in North Dallas. I'm Bill Mercer with Adam Beach. You just met Don Batiste. And Adam, we better keep uh, loose on this one because the bodies may fly all over the arena. Oh, yeah, Bill. You said a mouthful. Maniac Matt Bourne, the Iceman against Stud and Austin. Anything can happen here. You, you're right. We got to keep loose. California Stud and Matt Bourne opening things up. The referee is Bobby Turner. Well, and Bill. this is a one fall of it as Bourne and the Stud start the action. I'll tell you, remember Matt Bourne not too long ago, him and Al Presman for a championship title. Bourne lost, but I still think he's a contender. Yes. He's got championship quality wrestler here in the ring with the stud. Matt Bourne, whose father set his example as a great professional wrestler. California stud, former football player of college and pro ranks. A very tough, very well built. Both these guys, Austin and Stud, are uh, outstanding physiques. Playing a couple of tough guys in Bourne and Iceman King Parsons. In fact, you couldn't have four better physical specimens in one ring. That's Bourne and the California stud wrapped up over there in that far corner. Turner trying to get him a break. One of the things that uh, you'll find with Bourne and Iceman is that they're endurable. They will endure pain and suffering and keep going. Absolutely. Uh, let me elaborate that just a teeny bit. Bill, these uh, these two, Austin and Stud, they work out a lot. They've got a lot of weightlifting, a lot of uh, martial arts as well. So they can endure pain. They can endure hardship, as well as Matt Bourne and Iceman. California Stud opened up on Bourne. Fires. Hammered away. The action. Picking up, and now quick uh, switch here is... Steve Austin comes in. The mean green machine, I like to call him. He is a former football player at what then was North Texas State University, now the University of North Texas. And Steve Austin hammering away. He's got that linebacker mentality. He sure does. No pain, no mercy. Who get it, he can take it. Matt Bourne hammering in. And there's a tag right there, Bill. And the stud's going to work on the midsection of Bourne, as well as the drop there. A lot of elbows flying here, guys. California stud back in. And a nice routine going now. The rhythm going with stud and Austin. There's Bourne. Nice. Good move underneath. Cut a move underneath. And a flying drop kick on California stud. Matt Bourne in a little trouble. Another flying drop kick. And here's one for Steve Austin. Bourne taking the man. Iceman with a body slam, and all the bodies fly, and Iceman and Bourne are king of the hill right now. <laughs> and look at that little move that the Iceman's making. He's talking about, baby, let's get down boogie. You want to break the rules? I'll break the rules with you. He will, too. That Iceman will hurt you if you're not looking. Matt Bourne and Iceman King Parsons taking mouth, care of things, and Bourne, who looked like he was in trouble. Came back with those body slams on the California stud, then on Steve Austin. And it all erupted into a plus for Bourne and Iceman. And the crowd back there a second ago had a few things to say to the stud and Steve Austin, and I don't think you uh, at home wanted to hear it. Here comes the man back. He started all that mayhem. The last one to feel the wrath of Matt Bourne. And on this edition of Texas Championship Wrestling, Cowboy Tony and Terry Garvin coming up, and then the main event. Terry Gordy and the Dragon Master. And what a match that's going to be, Bill. I'll Big men against each other. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, when they say that Texling, Texas wrestling, Texas championship wrestling with class is brought back, it's right because the five or six matches I've seen in the last couple of weeks have been so close. They have matched these people up so well that you don't know who's going to win this. And it's only by sheer determination and the brutality of the sport that determines the winner. Here comes Steve Austin back. Four on Shiver changing with the California stud. Austin now trying to keep some advantage down. But Bourne, ever relentless, ever boring in. Nice move by Austin. Great move by Bourne. Bourne says, come on, nice man, let's make a switch. Can't do it right now. He's got the wrist. Now they make the switch. 
And Ice Man King Carson comes in to take over from a hard moving, hard charging Matt Ford, who's uh, taking a few moments to rest. Ice Man continues his attack. Got a wrist. Now he goes to the shoulder. And a standing shoulder hole for Ice Man King Carson with a nod of thanks to Matt Ford. Yeah, five minutes gone by now. And Ice Man wants to know. How much can you take? Because I can give it to you. How much can you take, Steve Austin? Are you really the $6 million man? All right, time to give everybody have it. And Iceman King Parson. Letting uh, Steve Austin out for a minute. He's going uh, to hey, this the rope, tie up the rope, and he won't let Think about it. <laughs> yeah, Bill. We don't be happy to explain it to him anyway. Why? Notice the uh, ensemble that Steve Austin and California Stud have on. It's uh, certainly graphic art. Yeah, it looks like California to me. It's like California art. Like art Deco of California. <laughs> Steve Austin with a headlock rolling on the Iceman King Parson. And Iceman and Matt Four have given these two handsome blonde men all they've wanted so far in this time. A move and a move here. Iceman won't make just one move. He usually has a couple in mind before he takes the opportunity to slide out off the rope. Here we go. Nice shoulder butt by Austin. Another one by Austin. Iceman wants to set. Keep watching very carefully. Look out. And a drag, yard drag. Here comes the one for the stop. Form gets a shot and Ice Man with a head punch. <laughs> and timeout, Steve Austin. They don't do that here, Steve. Only on the football field. Austin a little worried now. He got a corner and two men after him. He should be worried. These guys decide to break the rules. They decide to, to go in without tagging each other, to try and uh, sneak in and win this thing. They got a big mistake. That's a big mistake on their part. Because Born and Iceman are going to stand for it. Iceman King Parsons working on Steve Austin. Trying to find a little hole here, a little opening, a little move to move inside. Headlock. He's okay. Iceman now with the advantage. Slight that it is at the moment. Let's see what Austin can do. Slide out of the headlock. California stud interfering, and my, Matt Bourne wants to take a few uh, shots up, but they've got Ice Man set up right here. Good work by Austin. Here is a drop across the neck. California stud, one, two, and not enough as Matt Bourne separates him with a last-second kick to the head. California stud threatening him. As you notice, there was no real exchange between the California stud and Steve Austin. I'll tell you, official missed that, and they go on as they are. With only two minutes left, it looks like it's pretty evenly matched. I see these two guys working each other equally, masterfully, and something's gonna have to come here down at the end, though. A stud slashing, and a hold in the back by Steve Austin. And there's a crash across the back by Austin. They've got him tied up right now, and Iceman in lots of trouble over there. Matt Bourne cannot help his partner. Right on top for a count of three. One, two, and no, just two. That was a fast count, still couldn't make it. Iceman rolled out. Steve Austin on the attack. Little time left in this bout as Austin sends Iceman off, but not far, spinning around, going for a reverse. This could be it right here, this could be it right here. Two, not three, a kick by California Stud. Stud with the interference. And Austin to try it again, a rolling headlock, coming back with a double chin. And Steve Austin in command of Iceman right at the moment. We're talking about less than a minute here. Less than a minute to go here in this round. It's moving down to about 60 seconds now. Come on, Ice. Steve Austin with a head still holding on Iceman. Iceman trying to fight out of there. Still trying to battle. 
Austin wants to put it away. Nice move by Austin coming up. Close line. And Austin also close line running to the head of Iceman. The count is on. The count is on. Iceman trying to get to Bourne. And there's the bell. And the attack continues. And everybody battling now. Bourne, Austin, Stug. Oh, Here back. comes oh, Iceman. Oh. They're all going to have you got about a thousand pounds in there. A blonde hair. There goes Austin. Bourne and the Stud still battling. The bell is rung, but it's far from over. And they continue to battle. And Bourne and Iceman clear the ring, but there is no winner. And the maniac throws out California Stud in a folding chair. Well, that by California Stud. That is the time limit. No winner, but a poor, angry young man. You mentioned something interesting earlier. You said Kevin Von Erich had been your hero for a long time, and that kind of leads into something here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Kevin Von Erich was uh, my hero when I was a young girl. I used to wait in line just to get tickets to see him, <laughs> and now here I am working with him. Well, why don't we take a look into the personal life of Kevin Von Erich? Kevin visited with us earlier this week about his thoughts and his desires. Kevin's quite a family man. You know, uh, lawsuits and litigations, and uh, they take so long. I've never had anything to do with these uh, parts of business, but uh, lately I'm dragged into it, and I'm in listening to, you know, lawyers talk all day long for the past few months. But what I do best is wrestle. I've been missing it. And uh, lately I wrestled at the Metroplex uh, Arena. Had a good time out there, too. Uh, you know, something kind of gets inside you and it builds. It, it wants to go, you know. You just, I mean, this is what I've been doing all my life is professional wrestling. I, I know one speed, and that's 110%. Just a minute. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good job. Out of girl. And you know, this is great, the family style living and all. I, I love being at home and, and you know, that's great. But something inside me says, you know, you got something else to do, Kevin. It's, uh, I've been doing this all my life, it, it seems like, and it's just, uh, my, my life's empty without it. I need to get in that ring and have some combat. I, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels good to deliver a blow. It feels good to, to wrestle. I just love it. And it's, my life's been kind of, kind of empty in that way. And I plan on getting back in the ring and giving it everything I've got. And I want you folks to keep an eye out because you're going to hear Kevin Von Erich again real soon. This arena, something completely unique, a tag team battle royal, something that's never been done, ne never been seen in Texas. Come on down, check it out, because you know my partner and myself there's no way that we're going to be defeated. I'm going to be watching his back, and he'll be watching mine. So you come down for nothing but pure action and, and excitement, baby. Come down and see us. It's okay. There is this skyline of the wealthy downtown Dallas. Is it something I'm yeah. feeling here? Yes, there's about 5,000 uh, homeless in a five-block area in this part of Dallas. Right here right here in this area. Uh, the homeless shelters are full during this time of year when it's real cold. Uh, the Union Gospel Mission here, it's next door. They are have people sleeping on the floors. There's a lot of them that just will not go into the shelters. They prefer right out here in the open. Right out here with this fight. So we okay. provide the barrel. Here comes and, Iceman. Hey, man, hey. what's going on? Hey, hey, nice. Good to see good you. See what's up, Bill? How you what's doing? Going on? Fine, baby. Good. Feels know? good around this fire, doesn't it? Uh, I know what it feels like to be cold and homeless, baby. I've been there, man. Guys, you come down here quite often, then. Yes, sir, brother. You know, it's not just here in Dallas, Texas. It's all over the country, man. My hometown, St. Louis, Chicago, New York, I've been there, man. You know, and I know what it's like to be cold and hungry and no place to stay. I've been there. Is there a solution to this? Is there, is there something we can do? Is there something we're not doing? You know, these people ain't greedy. They just a need. Instead of helping all these other countries, what about our people right here, man? Help our people right here at home, you know? They're not greedy. They just a need him, man. Help them. Then think about helping somebody else in some other foreign country. That's the way I feel, man. Remember, most of us, when it gets dark outside, have a place to go that's warm and safe. Unfortunately, not everyone has a warm, safe place to go. And Iceman King Parsons has a warm and safe heart. Yes. And uh, he uh, exhibits that. And uh, we, uh, 
We at Texas Championship Wrestling are interested in uh, ways that uh, we can help the people who are needy, the homeless, and other people who are in uh, desperate straits. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, uh, just by many ways that we can do that, and we will uh, talk about that. We have some ideas that uh, we can come through and, and be a part of this community to, to maybe not solve the problem, but help the problem. That's what it's all about, helping each other. Helping each other. That's what it is all about. And we're going to take a break from the best of Texas Championship Wrestling and be right back with some more excitement for you right after this. Friday night, Tag Team Battle Royal to Metroplex Arena. Five teams go at each other. Ten men in the ring at the same time, battling for supremacy. If a member of a team is beaten by pinfall or submission, the team will be eliminated. Five teams, ten men going at it. Metroplex Arena, first time ever. Tag Team Battle Royal. Don't miss it. March 22nd, Thunderdome. Be there. Thunderdome, March 22nd, in a steel cage. March 22nd, Thunderstone, steel cage. No way out can you dig it. March 22nd, in the Thunderdome. March the 22nd, inside a steel cage. There's no escape. It's Thunderdome and Terry Garvin. Be there. The best of uh, last month's exciting bouts. We'll be talking in a moment about next month. I understand that you were really kind of, hey, this is Abdullah the Butcher. You don't want to get around in the ring with him. I don't, I can't blame you in a way. You can't believe how scary that man is to be alone with. I mean, I would never want to meet him in a dark alley. It reminds me of Freddy Krueger or someone like that. Yeah, with the, with the things. But yeah. he is. He's huge. What, 500 pounds or something? And it just awesome trying to uh, trying to move a huge semi-trailer truck out of the way with a sports car or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to take him on with a sports car or anything. <laughs> yeah, I'd be afraid the sports car would lose. Uh, maybe, that's a good, uh, maybe that's a good illustration of what Terry Garvin was, who gave up about two or three hundred pounds in his match with Abdullah. Yeah, I, could, I was surprised how well he did against Didn't he do well? Abdullah, yes. He, he gave up a lot of weight for that one. He gave up a lot of weight, gave up a lot of uh, energy, and finally, well, Let's let you watch it. Here's the best stop, Abdullah the Butcher and Terry Garvin. And the crowd does pick up the chant. Let's go, Terry, go. And he'd like to go. But once again, it's a pressure point on the side of the head. And the Butcher making intense pain to Terry Garvin right now. And this our big event on Texas Championship Wrestling. They're the biggest man in the business, over 300 pounds, Abdullah the Butcher with Terry Garvin. And the next time you see Abdullah, week after next, and he meets an equally big man, Terry Gordy. Oh, yeah, Bill. What a match that's going to be. Old Terry Bam Bam Gordy. That's a homeboy here from Texas. And I think Abdullah's going to have his work cut out for him that night. Right now, Garvin. Still trying to fight back. Ed, a lot of credit for going after this. He stays in there. Hard shots to midsection. Garvin has taken all sorts of punishment, but he's, his credit, he's dished out plenty and still is. Now a bite on the head. And they're both screaming. They're both yelling. And pain for the butcher. Garvin. And the Butcher. And Garvin learning something from the Butcher. Coming back and ripping his mouth like the Butcher did to him early in this bout. Now out the center of the ring, trying to get him off the ropes. Oh, I hope those, oh, I hope those both hold. hold. Yeah. Garvin just about missed him. Comes right back with a knee lift. I'm not sure this uh, post in this ring can handle I, the Butcher. I, would, I wouldn't think so, but I hope Garvin doesn't throw him this way that fast. Oh, a hard shot in the throat. Uh-oh. And uh -oh, here Bell. comes the butcher. It feels like it. Here it comes. Oh! 300 pounds. One, two, three. Yeah. And the butcher. The, the but butcher takes Terry Garvin and wraps him up finally. Hi, Bill Mercer back with Gary Hart. Thunderdome, tell me something about that. I got this written down here, and I want to see what you're, what you're coming up with. Well, the Night of the Thunderdome is going to take place on the 22nd 
of March. Uh -huh. It will be the next time that we will have the cameras there to take for Texas Championship Wrestling. And as the weeks go by, I think I'll elaborate on it. But right now... I keep it to yourself right the now. The Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Think Sounds good. Think about it. All right. Sounds good. And some people coming up. Al Perez Al is coming Perez, back. Uh, what a magnificent wrestler. What a magnificent athlete and person. Yes, and a great competitor, yep. uh, never has a bad match, uh, no matter who you have him with, uh, he gives it 110%. Uh, Forget about the one he had with Matt Bourne. Oh, what a match that yeah. was. Well, this one we've got coming up next week with him and the Angel of Death. That's going to be a real test. Championship for, uh, match. Championship uh, match for the uh, World Federation title. Good. Uh, Al Perez beat... Uh, Matt Boren, oddly enough, back in El Paso, Texas, you know, we had him here right. on the show, and they wrestled to a 30-minute draw with Fall of Peace, and then Matt Boren went to Corpus Christi and took the title for Mal, and out in El Paso, Al Perez won it back, and he's got it on the television next week in the main event. And the other thing that really excites me is you tell me that one-man gang and all his yeah. tattoos and yeah. all his personality... 747, one of the big <laughs> men in the wrestling world, uh, 470 pounds, and... Uh, He's out of uh, the WWF, and now he's with uh, Texas uh, Wrestling. I told you, when they come free, I'm going to grab them. I know you will. You'll do that. Hey, listen, let's go out with the highlights of uh, uh, the Al Perez and Matt uh, Bourne match. How I about that? I don't think we could end Texas Championship Wrestling any better. That's right. This is wrestling. Well, that's a revealing kind of move. But it didn't help Bourne too much. At least it broke the hole momentarily. <laughs> Inside on the leg again. And Al Perez, the champion. Uh, finish it off with that toe hole that he's famous for. You know one thing he does? And you can imagine with a guy with the size and strength. He loves to play golf. He probably could drive that ball 300 yards. Matt Horn. Try to find an opening. Perez won't let him take the opportunity to recover on that left leg and a drop in there again on the nerve on the inside of the leg. Oh, that hurts. This is for the Texas Federation World Championship. And Perez is the champion. Matt Bourne in trouble but trying to fight his way through in this best two out of three fall championship bout. Here on Texas World Federation Wrestling from the Metroplex Arena in Dallas, Texas. That boy. Father was known as Tough Tony. And appropriately so. And that's where Matt learned his toughness. And there's his toughness. Working on one leg, but Perez trying to finish it right there, but Bourne stays on him. Bourne leaning in. Perez. Attacking again the leg, finding a spot. Attacking and attacking, and Bourne. Working on one leg as Perez drops in the game, and Perez took a kick to the back of the head. Great timing by Bourne. Bourne trying to walk it off right now. Can this be it? Oh, tremendous reverse body slam. And Matt Bourne. Going for the drop, but he missed it. Perez made a great move. And right back in there again is Perez on board. Going back to the leg again. Over the top rope, twisting it. And there is punishment for Bourne. More punishment for Bourne. Ernesto warning the champion. Stretching up against the ropes. He's got a straddle between the bottom one and the middle one. Perez and Bourne. The championship event and the main event of Texas World Federation Championship Wrestling. Perez misses. He collapses into the mat. Bourne made a move. Another move with a kick to the side of the head and Perez is shaken. Bourne on the attack. Great left hand by Bourne. Corner buckle. Born on the attack. Relentlessly pursuing his man. Perez in trouble. And now the crowd picking up the action as they go for Born. Perez 
in all sorts of trouble. Had the advantage. He's lost it now. Four on Shiver on top. One, two, and not enough for three. Bourne just missed it again. Al Perez in the champion. Up and over on top. Flying body slam on top. Rolls over. Bourne one, two, and not three. Oh, that was close. Perez recovering beautifully, and Bourne almost took it away from him. And running shot to the top of the head. One, two, and not three again. Bourne didn't cover him enough. Bourne says this is it. His atomic body. Oh, a turnaround by Perez. Turns him up on the shoulders. One, two, three, and he got the ball.